Welcome to Conversations. My name is Suresh Kochatel. Media has been the subject of intense scrutiny for over decades now, right from international media to national media. If you look at what happened in India, let us go back to the early days of print, when print, that is specifically the newspapers, were a major consumption. But the advent of television, especially the color television, killed the habit of reading, at least on the magazine side. And we saw that demise happening to many big brands. Over the years, even radio lost its touch. And we saw that radio was no longer relevant in that scenario. But subsequently, radio has caught up big time with FM. But let us look at the other factors. What actually happened to the print media? The print media at one time had a consumption among the elders, the middle-aged, and of course, a bit of the youngsters. Today, youngsters don't read a newspaper, don't watch television, and they are in their own world. Today, it's a digital age. So let's look at where newspapers go from here. It was actually the advent of COVID a year and a half ago that saw newspapers really getting into trouble. People refuse to subscribe to newspapers, and if the latest research reports have anything to go by, 30 to 40 percent people have never returned back to buy those newspapers. They perhaps felt that if they could manage without a newspaper during the COVID, they can pretty well do it after that. So where does that leave television with? Television has been a major consumption in terms of advertisers. They fuel the growth, and definitely we saw different genres of television coming into foray. But even here, the COVID pandemic put a plan, a spoke there. And that is what we saw, a spoke in the wheel of many a television channel. What really happened? If you look at television, the consumption during the pandemic was more on the OTT side or what we call the over the top. Then there is also the thing called connected TV, which basically means that if you have a smart TV and you can stream things through that, by either using an external device or using an internal Wi-Fi device, you are on a connected TV. But today's youngsters are not even there. They are the major earners today. What we marketeers call the people who can buy things, the people who have the purchasing power. Today's young generation. But then they don't read a newspaper. They don't watch the television. So where are they? They are there. They are in the world of social and digital media. Today's television evangelist will tell you that the world is slowly but surely moving away from traditional television, so to speak of, into content management. The content is king, we were always told. And today, it's all the more true. How we deliver that content is extremely important. How we deliver that content to different audiences is all the more engaging. Youngsters, for example, are hooked on to say their own Instagrams or Snapchats and other mediums. They don't even come on Facebook. So how do we get them on to watch what we want them to watch? That's a million dollar question. Because if I had the answer, I wouldn't be sitting in a room like this. I would be in a far bigger room speaking to you. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a big question that we have. And we in media are struggling to arrive at a logical conclusion for that. But sure enough, today's marketeers will tell you and today's product managers will tell you, today's brand managers will tell you that the world has moved beyond into the digital age. If we have to catch today's young audiences, they are not in the traditional media. We have to go after them in the digital media. So how do you take a traditional media content and convert that into digital media? Today's young generation doesn't like homilies. They don't like being told what to do. They don't like yarn sessions. They want everything to be told to them in maybe two and a half to three minutes maximum. So you take the content of a news channel, for example, and how do you convert that into an interesting bit? Because today's youngsters, again, typically are not bothered about the world of politics. They are not bothered about what happens in the neighboring countries. They are in the world of their own. So how do I reach them? How do we reach them? That is a question that we all need to ask ourselves. And sure enough, as in television, as in media, 
we are now coming up with new and new ways to reach that audience. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a trick of the trade. We need to create content that is in sync with today's young audiences. And sure enough, if that content is interesting, if they find that is good enough for them to delve into, they will surely watch us. How they watch us, where they watch us is immaterial, as long as it's on their mobile device, as they are on the move. And they are not in front of a television set as many traditional marketers would like us to believe. That is the change that is happening. As I say, change is constant. And in this case, it's all the more true. I will have more of such episodes coming up in the next few days to explain to you in detail about where each stream of media is moving into. And do watch my program, Conversations. Thank you for watching.